Welcome to the project demonstration of dual power generation system using solar and wind and here we have the like solar tracking system also was attached and the main application of this project is we are going to generate the uh, wind power generation uh, and uh, the solar power generation and also we are using the grid to charging of this battery pack so for grid uh, we are using this transformer so in three ways uh, we are going to get uh, the power to charging of the battery pack so in this one we have the extra feature like solar tracking system also which is used to track the sun position uh, whenever the sun traveling from east to west then the, with the help of these two LDR sensors we are going to identify the position of the sun and always placing this solar panel perpendicular to the sunlight so that will be achieved with the help of uh, DC motor and which will control through this Arduino Uno board which is continuously check the sun position with the help of this LDR sensors and control the DC motor to place the solar panel to the sun always and uh, here uh, this is the main charging unit so this uh, unit consists of three charging circuits so each charging circuit consists of a rectifier filter and a unidirectional current flow so rectify nothing but when we are connecting the grid power source to charging of the battery pack whenever uh, in unseason whenever there is uh, sunlight as well as wind is not available so if you want to charge a battery pack with the help of this grid power connection we can charge a battery pack so there we can see the light indication here and this is a rectifier which is used to convert the AC to pulsating DC and filter to remove, to remove the pulses if is there any ripple generated so after this rectification that will be rectified and filtered with the help of this filtration and unidirectional current flow two diodes were placed uh, to block the current flow from the battery to the transformer whenever the battery is fully charged so that these two diodes will acting as a unidirectional current flow so this is common for the solar and the wind so this is the wind power connection so from the wind we have placed over here and this is from the solar panel directly but coming to the wind so though we can know that uh, wind is generating only dc power source we are using the dc dynamo so then the requirement of this rectifier ic so ac we are providing fine this is acting as a rectifier to convert the ac to dc but here uh, whenever the wind rotates in direction so we can see the light indication over here so either it is a counterclockwise or else clockwise in both directions this will be rectified where because when it rotates in anti clockwise rotation then it will provide plus and minus okay but when it rotates in uh, clockwise so counter clockwise plus and minus in clockwise this is going to be the negative and this one is the positive so the polarity will be changed when the direction changes so that will be rectified with the help of this rectifier IC. remaining filter and unidirectional current flow diodes are same purpose and coming to the solar panel so there also we place the one small diode small uh, rectifier IC here so when we providing a uh, power supply from the solar panel this rectifier will acting as a polarity corrector so if we may place this in misconnection means wrong connections minus to plus plus to minus and that will be rectified with the help of this rectifier ic so here here the case is uh, to convert the ac to dc and uh, this one is the directional filtration purpose irrespective of the direction it will provide the plus to plus minus to minus and here irrespective of the polarities it will be rectified polarity corrector direction corrector and ac to dc converter so that is the main application of this charging circuit along with the led indications and the next once the battery is fully charged in a duration of five hours so if you want to charge a battery with the help of grid so it will take five hours to be fully charged either from the solar panel or from the wind so individually uh, if we get the same power source then individually it can charge five hours but in uh, multiply nothing but if we are getting the same current same voltage from the sources three sources at a time then it will get fully charged in a duration of only one hour so once the battery is fully charged so then we can utilize that for measuring of the voltages from the sources like wind and solar panel and controlling the direction of the solar panel whenever the sun travels from east to west and the next same will be converted into the ac with the help of this inverter so coming to the ratings so we are in the solar panel 12 volt uh, 12 volt 3 watts solar panel and this one is the 12 volt 20 watts dc dynamo and this one is a 12 volt 15 watts of uh, transformer which is converted ac to uh, 12 volts ac to 12 volts of ac so this is the current rating coming to the battery ratings 12 volt 2 amps battery pack we are using so you can see the total 6 
uh, 4 volt 1 amp batteries are present so in that these three are in series so each is a 4 volt 1 amp so 3 is 3 nothing, uh, series nothing but we will get 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp from here these two are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp DC output so from sources to the charging circuits to the battery pack now so the battery pack output is through the switch was connected to the Arduino Uno board so from there the system will measure the input from the voltage sensors and LDR sensors so here we can see the two LDR uh, two voltage sensors which are used to measure the voltage from the source like wind and solar panel so this uh, voltage sensor consists of two resistors uh, that is a 10 is to 1 voltage ratio purpose means 10 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm across 1 kilo ohm we are going to measure in the voltage and that is input to the Arduino you know, board so whenever the input voltage is 12 volts the output from this voltage sensor is 1.2 volts because we are dividing that in 10 is to 1 voltage ratio but in the Arduino you know, board we programmed it as to multiply that reading into the 10 so we will get exact voltage of input to the voltage sensor and another uh, input is uh, limit switches so you can see the this uh, red and black one is the limit switch and here also one limit switch which is used to limit the rotation of this DC motor whenever the is to uh, waste rotation so it, uh, it has to inform that at which position were, uh, the solar panel was placed and locked and the next same DC 12 volts to MC is input to the this inverter circuit so it consists of mainly small IC which is used to convert the AC or uh, DC 12 volts to AC 12 volts with the help of this IC along with the two MOSFETs so we are going to convert that DC 12 volts 2 amps to AC 12 volts 2 amps and with the help of this step up transformer uh, which will be step up to the 12 volts of AC to 230 volts of AC that will be converted uh, connected to this AC 230 volts load so these are the main features of the project is as we discussed uh, sources the wind solar and uh, grid to the tar charging circuits from there to the battery pack of 12 volts 2 amps and from there battery pack to the inverter so which is used to convert uh, 12 volts of DC to 12 volts AC first stage and then that is the inverter stage next is step up stage which is used to 12 volts of AC to 230 volts of AC to this load directly and based on this LDR input so which the system will control the DC motor through this L293D motor driver to control the direction of this DC motor to the west side as well as east side and two voltage sensors along with LCD display so these are the main input output connections this is the inverter switch okay so let us check with the demonstration so you can disconnect this the grid and now demonstrate the project just on this as welcome as is displayed on the LCD screen so when we on this the automatically the system will rotate this solar panel to the east side to initialize that and once the initialize is successfully done we can see the solar panel voltage so when we place the lighting on this one we can see the voltage is getting increased okay and battery voltage is 12.05 window voltage is 0 as there is no rotation to this one we can see the voltage over there right so either from the any direction you can see the voltage in any direction okay right so you can getting the light indication over there also now coming to the solar panel tracking system so when the sun moves so you can see the indication to over there so sun stops stops automatically DC motor cutter stops so when sunset was done that limit switch will inform to the you know board about sunset was done so when it touches the limit switch then automatically come back to the east position and it will wait for the sun rise on sunset come back to the east position this is the continuous process along with the voltage measuring and sun tracking system in dual power generation state right When I move the light, then it will move. Right. Once the limit switch touches this limit switch, then automatically back to the east position. Right. Right. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. One more thing. Inverter output. Right. Okay. So the inverter will invert to the uh, 12 volts of DC to 2 that volts of AC directly. Thank you.